And what's up everybody, welcome back to the channel, it is your boy Cheap Ludes, and we are back with another gameplay. This time, we are going to do a gameplay with the new Team Ups Kevin Love card, who, to be honest with you, I'm not really that excited about this, like, at all. Like, not even remotely. So he's got a 91 three-pointer, 89 mid, um, 90 free throw, 75 standing dunk, only a 55 driving dunk, which is not good. Upper 90s, um, rebounding stats, which are really, really good. 65 speed's awful, um, and then the ball handle of like 54 is really hurting him at the power forward position. Does have a 75 shot contest tendency, it's about all. Um, Hoff catch and shoot, Hoff corner specialist, box rebounder. Um, other than that, he's got a lot of post play badges. He does have range extender, volume shooter, uh, green machine, and hot zone hunter at silver. Um, and you can't add like some finishing badges. All the defensive badges like rim protector, pickpocket, clamps, defensive leader, interceptor, intimidator, heart crusher, lighting reflexes. Um, all pretty important. Can you add? No, you can't add flexible. His release is actually really good though. Um, if you played with Kevin Love before, his release is. I, almost identical and it works right now a lot better than it did last year because we don't have a quick draw so the real question is how close is he to tim duncan as far as like being worthwhile so he's got hot zones pretty much everywhere Ooh, yeah i like that Ooh, yeah he's got a nice release i will say that i like it it's gonna take a second but let's go hit it Ooh, i will say flexible would be uh pretty helpful for the card um because there is one glaring problem with this card in general that i will address later on um just because i haven't like i played one tto game with kevin love prior to recording this but i haven't played any unlimited with him um and I can already tell that there's one massive problem with this card. <laughs> now this fadeaway is not great. Let's check his range. He's got that gold range extender, so let's see exactly how far that actually does. Like I said, that's another thing where flexible really helps out is when it comes to like gold range. When you're pulling those super deep threes, it is kind of hard to green them, but if you can just get it in the actual green window with flexible, you will actually hit some whites occasionally, especially from deep range off the catch and shoot so it's like you're getting that double boost and that would be very very helpful but that would kind of make him overpowered because he could literally crack like half court shots <laughs> at this stage i don't even know why i tried to do his dribble moves they are so bad all right yeah his moving shots pretty good he's got gold difficult shots i don't know when you're going to be pulling up off the dribble with kevin love but like if you decide to do that that's on you all right hit that let's go play some unlimited so we're against a, uh, I don't want to say like a stack team, but a really annoying team. A lot of driving, a lot of shooting, a lot of interior defense. Super annoying squad. Um, ugh, yeah, this might be tough. I'm not sure. Oh, he's switching his matchups up too. Wait, what's he? Wait, what? Oh, okay. Now he's smart. He knows what's up with Clay Thompson. He knows about the Clay Thompson uh, glitch. I don't know why he's even Shaq though. So, he's already scored one, but it's fine. All right, Caleb, we hit it. There we go. Like I said, he's going to be an elite catch-and-shoot big man. The problem is, and I don't know if my opponent's going to figure this out. I'm guessing he will at some point. Some, it can't take him that long to figure it out. But if you just switch your defensive settings to tight on Kevin Love, I'll hit that. Oh, deep balls. Six points for K-Love already. Um, if you just go and switch your defensive settings on K-Love to, you know, have whoever's defending him play tight, he's almost a non-threat at driving to the basket and also a non-threat on defense. So he is bringing a lot of shooting to your team, but he's not bringing anything else. Like, Tim Duncan can drive to the paint, he can play defense, and he can shoot. The question is, is the shooting disparity that big that it's worth using Kevin Love over, not over Tim Duncan, but with Tim Duncan or over some of the other guys like a Dave Cowens or even like Carl Anthony Towns who brings you a little bit more on the defensive end and can drive the pain a little bit too? I just don't know. He does have a lot of 
rebounding badges and good rebounding stats too so we're gonna see how that comes into play he's got that 90 free throw so he shouldn't be missing much which is gonna be pretty huge yeah pretty pretty solid free throw I mean it's fast which is something you have to get used to because a lot of people's free throws are slow in this game there you go T-Mac uh, good defense by Duncan right there Kevin loves just hanging out at the perimeter the other thing is he has Dino Raja on him this game, so it's going to be tough. Like, I'm definitely not going to be able to drive around Dino. Just because of how fast he is and how big he is. There we go. Hit it, Kevin. Ooh, green light. 11 points for K-Love already. We do have sharp shooting takeover. I will say, like, he's fun to use. He shoots the ball really, really well. I don't know what his price is going to be. He's one of those cards where it's going to be kind of weird to see his price because he comes standard with gold range. So you know like people are already going to fiend for this card for no reason off the rip. Oh, okay, now we go. Here we go. Now he's playing tight on me. He knows. There we go. Give it back out. Hit that. Ah, that was just a bad shot by me. That should have been wet. There we go. Show that defensive prowess. Oh, okay. I thought he was going to take it to Dino right there. Darren Williams v. Darren Williams. There we go. Dino threes. Okay. Good board by Tim Duncan. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. What are we going to do here? Throw it over Caleb. Oh, my God. I almost stepped out of bounds. Oh, dribble moves. Let's go. Oh, drive in. All right. That's a flagrant, right? I'm, I'm guessing it's a flagrant. It is not. Okay. It doesn't matter. More Caleb free throws. There it is. We're good. We're, do we're doing all right. Things are going well. We're going to throw the bench unit in for a little bit. Just because when I'm doing gameplay videos, I kind of usually freeze up, and then I can turn the recording off when the bench unit's out, and I kind of chill out a little bit. That's usually how it works out. Oh, yeah, that's money. Yeah, nothing you can do about that. Clay Thompson's going to hit that 9 out of 10 times, especially when he's wide open. So even if it's a white, it doesn't really matter. Oh, you know where the ball is going. There we go. Okay, what was... Alright. Didn't really mean for that fadeaway to occur, but it is what it is. Um, oh, good steal, good steal. Oh, what up, Kawhi? I forgot you were even on my team. Cool. Alright, oh, Kevin Love drives. Let's go. Oh, we're hitting him in the post now. Get him with the post move. Oh, there we go. Get the board. Okay, that was awful. Ugh. I will say, Kevin Love does have a very bad set when it comes down low. You're not going to be working the post with him very well. Um, I'm not a very good post player anyway, though, so maybe you might have more success. Hit that. There we go. 15 points in the first quarter for Kevin Love, so he's not bad offensively whatsoever. Um, I will say, though, that if you play against anyone good and you're abusing Kevin Love, they're going to shut it down pretty quick by just putting the person who's defending him on him and putting either smother or tight and then if they're using someone with a little bit of speed like a tim duncan or something yeah they're gonna shut you down so we're up nine points with about two minutes 55 left in the second quarter hit that oh good board by stockton who's there for no reason there we go oh kevin love with the drive see that's what i'm talking about like carl anthony towns throws that down Kristaps throws that down Every other big man throws that down. Kevin Love hits a silky smooth finger roll that almost doesn't make it because I'm not ready for it because in no world should he be doing a finger roll right there. Also, like, for... Oh, okay. What happened there? All right. Not sure. There we go. Where are we going here? What up, Thurl Bailey? I didn't know you were in. Ooh, triple team in Kevin Love. You know what it is. Get the ball. Yup. There we go. Oh, yeah. The double team is in action here. He don't want it. Oh, Kevin Love to the paint. Oh, see, now he dunks. He's wide open streaking to the paint. Doesn't dunk. But maybe I just had to be uh, closer to the basket to trigger a dunk animation for Kevin Love. Maybe if I'm a little too far away, he's not going to take off. Oh, good board by Shaq. There's not much I can do there. I will say, though, that... Uh, Kevin Love's not doing a whole lot on the offensive or defensive boards. Hit that. But it's really hard to deny that shooting ability. His jump shot's faster, too. Like, Tim Duncan's is kind of slow. 
But uh, Kevin Loves is a little quick. Dino with those fucking giant monster arms. Nothing you can do there. It's really hard to deny the shooting ability, but at the same time, he's so bad on the defensive end, and he can't bring you anything else but shooting. But the shooting he does bring you is good. I don't know. I'm torn on Kevin Love. Like, I'm going to have to play some more games with him before I really decide how I feel. But I will say if he's over 100k, he's not worth it. Like, if this if this guy came out in, like, a big set and was, like, 40 or 50k at this stage in the game, he'd actually be a really good value card. And he'd be incredibly good. He'd basically just be, like, a better shooting version of, like, Cat or Kristaps. But, oh, gross. Oh, John Stockton with the board. Let's do it again. Third time's a charm. Nope. Ah. <laughs> hey, I tried. I will say, though, that he does not have Deadeye. And he doesn't have Steady, which... That's fine. Um, but if he has anybody even remotely near him, he's probably going to miss it. There we go. Hit that. Oh. Oh, so we're in the third quarter. We're going we're gonna to try to get it started with okay, K-Love there. Pull-ups. Hit that. Nope. That's all good. Throw that down with Timmy D. Just need to remind the guy I'm playing with that I'm not only shooting with Kevin Love and that I will actually shoot with other people occasionally. Um, keep him honest. Good board by Timmy D. Tim Duncan's a fucking monster, though. Like, I, I almost mulled over the possibility of running Caleb at center and then having Draymond for defensive purposes because Kevin Lowe's so bad, but I'm glad I didn't do that because I would be getting absolutely bullied in the paint by Dino and Shaq right now, which would be not fun for me. Is that going to go in? No. Yeah, Shaq's still a beast, though. It's hard to get boards over him. All right, kill it, Clay. What are you going to do? Come on, handsome Squidward. Let's go. There we go. Oh, no, it's money. Yep. Darren Williams makes those a lot. I'm not really too surprised about that. I still think Darren Williams is one of the best point guards in this game. Like, it's I'm not particularly close. There we go. Oh, that 25% coverage killed me. Like I said, having Deadeye on Kevin Love would be really helpful because when that closeout defender comes in, it will it won't affect his shot percentage like it does now. I feel bad. I should start taking McGrady out of the game and just not using him when I'm doing gameplays. I don't want his stats to go down. <laughs> but, yeah, having Deadeye on Kevin Love would be incredibly important, but you cannot add it. Um, if he had Deadeye and Flexible, he'd easily be the best offensive big man in this game. Um, at least from a shooting perspective. I think he'd be a better shooter than Tim Duncan. But then again, he'd be a little... I don't think he'd even be overpowered, though. I think it was kind of bougie to not let him go. Good. Good move. Good move. But say so you better get that up over Donovan Mitchell. I think it was pretty whack of 2K not to allow you to put those badges on him. Just because he's not good at anything else but shooting. Like, he can't play defense. He can't drive the paint. Like... You can give him a bunch of defensive badges, though, which I didn't for this gameplay. So, those would probably help a lot. Yeah, there we go. I should have just dunked it with McGrady, but, you know, he's trying to get uh, Kevin Love some shine there. But I forgot that he uh, has a 55 driving dunk, so that shit was not going to happen. Yeah, he has 29 points and two rebounds. Granted, I will say the dude I'm playing has been five outing, so Kevin Love hasn't really had an opportunity to get involved down low. Oh, good boy. Yes. I was going to say board, but good block, man. That's what I'm talking about. Ooh. All right. Dave Collins has three fouls already. Shaq does draw fouls pretty well, though, I will say. So, it's nothing I can really do about that. Give me the ball. It's time for Kevin Love to shine some more. Oh, there we go. Yup. Hit it. Bam. I will say he has an easy to green jump shot. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Um, I'm also shooting 10 for 24 with him. So it's not like it's, it's not all coming up roses here for me. Like, shit's bad. <laughs> but I am shooting a lot of very ill advised shots with Kevin Love, too, just to see what he's like, see what he's all about. So I will say it's not completely Kevin Love's fault. And when I'm hitting, I'm hitting. I mean, I have 33 points with him. Like I said, I've just, I've shot 26 shots and made 12 of them. So. <laughs> It's not like everything's going incredibly well. There we go. Good block by Cowens. I love Dave Cowens, dude. 
There we go. Oh, Kevin. Good. Hit him with that dribble move. Oh, you really just missed that? All right. I mean, that was a bad shot by me. I should have taken it in, but like, damn, you had takeover and still missed it. So we got two minutes left. I have a pretty decent lead. Things are going pretty decent. Um, there we go. Mid-range. He's electric from mid-range, too. Um, 35 points and two rebounds. The two rebounds is a little concerning, but like I said earlier, like uh, the guy I'm playing has been running five out, so he hasn't been getting too involved on the defensive glass. So I'm not really too concerned about the rebound. He is a good rebounder, just like he was in real life when he was with Minnesota. Um, he was one of the best rebounders in the league back then. That's not really my huge concern with Kevin Love. My concern with him is that he's extremely one-dimensional. Um, which is pretty normal for Kevin Love cards, which I think is actually kind of stupid because Kevin Love wasn't one-dimensional when he played in the NBA. So I kind of hate that 2K keeps making him into this like one-dimensional card that can only shoot and do nothing else. Um, it's kind of annoying because people need to respect Kevin Love. At one point in time, he was a legitimate double-double machine and could score from pretty much anywhere. So it's like, I don't really know what the issue is with 2K. And this is Minnesota Kevin Love too, so it should be accurate, but... Here we are with a uh, another Kevin Love that does nothing but just shoot the ball. Other than that, elite elite jump shot. Solid jump shooter, can knock down the three from literally almost anywhere. Other than that, I just it depends. Ooh, I just got packed. Dino Raja is so annoying, dude. That being said, I don't know if... It, like I said, it, like when it comes to being worth it, if he's worth it or not, it just depends what his price point is. If he's 40 or 50K, absolutely, he's incredible value for that. But I just don't think enough people are A, pulling him, and B, even opening these packs. So I think he stays, and just because he has that gold range extender, I think he stays above 100K. If he doesn't have gold range extender and has like flexible and dead eye instead, and you can add range extender, I think he's down 40 or 50K. What was that? But because he comes standard with it, um, I think he balloons up to about 100k, especially for guys who really, really like to shoot threes, which is a pretty large amount of this player base, which is why I'm surprised this game is so rim running centric. Oh, okay. I thought Kevin Love had the ball, but that's cool. Which is something that it blows my mind. They made rim running unstoppable when 90% of players in 2k just like to chuck threes. It's pretty funny. I try not to rim run as much as humanly possible because I just feel like it's so cheesy, but... You can only take getting beat by five dudes with Juice World guy avatars, like, and getting rim run with Derrick Rose until like you're almost half dead before you just have to start doing it too. There we go, pass it out. You know where the ball's going. Oh, Kevin Love, let's go hit that. Oh, that was an ugly shot, but it's all good. I made it. So, like I said, keep a monitor on Kevin Love's price. I think he definitely would be worth it if you can get him for, you know, a lower tier diamond cost. So the same cost as like David West or something like that. Like he's absolutely worth it. But I think any more expensive than that, he's just a little too one dimensional to be worth any other price. Even if we're not talking about the beginning of the game. So anyways, that's the video. Like I've said in every video, go subscribe to my Twitch. Go listen to the podcast. Will this ever end? Go hit the Patreon if you want to support my boy. That Twitch is twitch.tv backslash cheap and I'll be doing videos on there too. So check me out and subscribe. Peace.